Hi, it's Hazy, and welcome to my channel. Today we are making these uh, little books, booklet things, and papers, and also page edges. Yep, that's it. Yep, page edges. Okay, make this one on video. Uh, one of them's gone missing, but it is on video. Okay, so we'll see that you can see that at the time, can't you? Um, let's just check. Oh, hold on. No, it's definitely not that one or that one. Okay, then. Right then. So, and if you'd like to join me today, please give me a thumbs up. Please share my video. Press the notification bell with your crafty fingers. And please join my Facebook group, Hazy Crazy Art. So I was saying at the end, we've got lots of different papers, including what's in my notebook. Um, these sort of things. In on my group, if you'd like to grab those. And also, um, yeah, spinach paper. Where is it? Spinach paper. Yay. Well, that's the one I do all the demos with. Okay. And also, please subscribe to my channel. I forgot to say that one because that's you, you support me for free if you do all this for me. Thank you so much. So let's go and find out how to make all these today. Thank you whether I'm, I'm filming this one first even though it might be project number two <laughs> right so there's this one now let's have a look i've done the sew version of this so let me show you how to do it it's pretty simple okay so i'm cutting out some circles and i'm cutting out several at once because of the oh i might be able to get one out of that one it won't matter it won't actually matter too much because i'm going to cut them at the end anyway so what I did was, let's have a look, uh, I think that's the best way, so you can make, hey, by the way you can make new sentences up doing this lot, <laughs> almost, Temp oh I can make temporary, even though it says temp uh, temperature into temperate there, almost, <laughs> that's quite funny isn't it, right so that's what, <laughs> that's what I've been doing, yeah I haven't been doing it all day, right so I'm putting some of these down the page now, let me have a look see how long that one was. Right, this was about, this is how big I need it, which is just over 8 inches, I'm pretty sure. So I can measure it on my mat, yay, that's good. And I can even get it in the lines because it was actually a bit skew width. So I can actually get it in the line. Wait, it is a, it, I don't think it matters, even though they're not, it's just going that way rather than that way. So I'm just doing it quickly. <laughs> ah, that looks lovely, I think it's the same side. Oh no, what did I do first? Of course, I've got to ink them up. I'm going to ink them up, yay! Right, so now we can do the eighth thing or whatever it is. Okay, so let's move that out of the way. Wherever. Oh, let's have a look. Oh, it's one of my little wordy things. Right, let's have a look at this. Let's get that there. I might try and, I don't know, I don't know whether to make it a little bit more of a gap so we've got a bit more of a curve there because that's not, I've got some, but I think it looks nice with a lot of curve. It's going to be curvy, got a good figure. Okay, right, how many is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, we need one more inch. I'm going to move it up a bit because I think the inches are going to be a bit, no. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, so. Well done. That's not very. Um, <laughs> I'm going to try and make it in, into all. Just using the five. I've got some left then, another project. I'm going to try this one, see what happens. Okay, talking about butterflies here. <laughs> if you read, I can't even read anything. It's a bit um, steamy in one point, but. Uh, it's only about butterflies, so we're okay. Right. Yeah. I won't point it out. You have to try and just read it if you want. <laughs> right, there we go. I didn't notice, actually. Right, let me just see, because these can actually move, can't they, if you remember? Um because I'm using the scotch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm going to try and make it a little bit longer. Hey, that's good. It does a concertina movement. There we go. 
a concertina, <laughs> nearly a sort of a concertina movement. I don't think it matters actually if it's not quite level because it looks fine. The other one's not, I don't think. Right, so what I did then was got some. It was actually, but it's actually my um, this uh, brush show stuff. But you can use magazine page anything. Ah, but first of all, I'm going to cut it in half. So I'm going to cut it in half. It doesn't matter. I'm just going to cut it in half by eye. So it doesn't really matter whether it's half or it's not. So there, you can see now how what I'm going to do. And I'm going to glue it properly because I'm not doing a stitch on this one. Oh, it's even got a little butterfly at the top. I've got a butterfly page for this as well. Okay, so I'm going to glue that on very nicely. Oh dear. <laughs> very nicely, very carefully. Oh, we will try and glue that on if you get the glue out. And the paper doesn't fall out of my hand. Okay, so we're doing this. And like a washi tape thing. I do use washi tape as well, yeah. Washi tape would be fun. With stitch washi, washi tape on, that would be fun, wouldn't it? Yeah, I've done that obviously on loads of loads of projects. Especially, uh, lately, yeah, I did. In fact, I got one in a minute. No, I haven't. No, I've got I got one. Uh, when, yeah, the other day. Yeah, it was it was it was it was Saturday. Right then, so let's do the next bit. So I'm going to choose to use black. I don't know what I'm using. That one's like a brush pen. Let's have a go with this. What I did was um, I did stitching around the edge. All the way on the edge, so I'll do that now. I thought, do you think that's enough, or do you think you ought to come? <laughs> I don't know. I did zigzag in the middle of the other one. I mean, I've got a butterfly there, so I don't know. I'm going to do a little zigzag in the middle with some crayon, so it's not too harsh. This is black. Uh, what do you call it? Uh, um, Faber Castell. Of course, it is. It's my favourite. I love Faber, Faber Castells. They're really strong and they're really, it's probably like a charisma crayon. I don't know if you're, if you're American, you'll probably be more familiar with that. Right, so let's now, I'm going to do normal face stitching now. Oh no, let's do circles. Tell you why, because we've already done, and it might look too much. I'm going to come along, I'm going to come along a bit on there and do that. Go ahead and come along. <laughs> That's what I'm going to do. There we go. And let's have a look at the other one as well while I'm here. I don't know, they both look quite spectacular, don't they? I'm going to just just adjust. I might cut it off with my... Yeah, I'm using the deckle edge scissors instead of tearing it. Because I've got some new deckle edge scissors. Well, in fact, I've got two pairs now because I found the other one. <laughs> oh, yeah. Right, there we go. Let me just compare. This is my notebook, so it's not my actual journal. But I can show you on here what they look like. Okay, this is the... Oh, spinach. This is spinach paper. It's only um, a photocopy. Not a photocopy, a scan. So it's kind of some spinach paper. Okay, and that's that's what that looks like on there, look. Okay, so that, and then there's this one as well. And I like this one better. <laughs> I don't know why I like I think it's because it's so bold. Uh, that is, uh, as I said, that's just brush shows on. It's a spray. It's, just, it's like a bit like spraying things, look. I have done a, a video on it recently, but nobody was interested. So, <laughs> well, there were a few people, but nobody's, nobody commented, so... If you want to have a look at what brush shows are, they are brilliant and such fun. And the last ages, I've had mine, I've had mine years, but I got them out because I saw Louisa Heinz have um, her with hers out. So I thought, well, I get mine out and have a go. And it was such fun. Anyway, I'm going to. This is the, that one then. So that's one's the one with the circles. And obviously, you can have as many as you like. You can have smaller circles. You can only get up inch ones. That's I think inch ones would be brilliant. I think I would like. To, I was going to have a go with it. In fact, I might show you at the end if I do an inch one. Okay, that'd be fun, wouldn't it? Okay, see what that looks like. Yay. So on to the next one now. This is um I've got to I've had to refilm because it's oh again. I'm always having to refilm these days. What's up with me? Right, so let's have a look, see what I'm doing on this one. This is the no sew version. The no sew, yes. Yes, we have to do a no sew, a sew and a no sew. I do like both. But I'll show you the no sew version. So I'm going to do it again like I tried on the video, <laughs> video that doesn't exist anymore. Well, it does exist actually, but uh, so, so I'm putting some, this is book page. Um, you can use magazine page. It's actually brusho and uh, I've added some oxides as well. So it's done some quite nice effects on here. Ooh, so I'm, I'm doing it all together. 
but you don't have to use this you can use whatever paper you like you don't have to use colored paper it can be coffee dyed anything like that that would look nice actually as well couldn't it coffee dyed book page hmm lovely so i'm just putting this down then so i'm going to i think i'm going to do it a bit faster so it, we can get it done Let's give it a let's give it a blue cloth. Okay, so it's worth wiping it with a glue cloth, or you could put a little tiny bit of powder on if you want, like baby powder or something, but um, just be careful because if you're gonna glue again on it or anything, it's going to um stop it gluing perhaps so don't use it too much Do you know what i was, I was saying that the other day and i thought oh people might <laughs> so a little tiny bit of that yeah but that's made it less that's made it less sticky now it's brilliant okay oh i feel like that's really nice i don't know about you i hope you're, en hope you're enjoying watching my um little project come to, <laughs> come to life here I'm Oh, it's probably because it's got, look, it's got glue on it. It's not happy, is it? Not happy. So I'm going to get me um, that out. That's it. That, that'll, that'll sort it out. There we go. As also, I said in the other video as well, you know, when you, it, it ought to be cut on the bias, because if you look, I've cut those straight. You know, like cutting on the bias, like keeping the, if you did it like this, cut it like that, <laughs> then you'd have the, the type straight as well, but not obviously the way round. You cut it like this if you see what i mean you'd have the type still going that way around but obviously we're not going to mess about like that are we but you could there's, there's no reason why you couldn't do that if you really wanted to it is an option you just have to join them together perhaps because it'd be less we'll join them together so it'd be less of the um of you know it wouldn't be so long the strips wouldn't be so long that's what i'm trying to say right okay i'm hoping not moving it out of your way Right, so what do we do with something like this? Right, we can actually, um, I'm going to do some faux stitching because I think it looks nice, um, which will finish it off because otherwise it, I think it looks a bit, you could also go along the edges a bit if you like as well. So what I might do is just go along the edges and do a bit of faux stitching. right then so i was just thinking about all these things i could have i haven't told you yet okay so this can be used for anything let me see if i can find the other bits that i did yesterday because it give you some examples right so these are this sort of prototypes that's the actual prototypes because that's the sewn one so i've just done it stitched down that might be a bit that might be a bit little bit difficult to cut with the if you haven't got it no unless you've got really sharp 
good paper paper scissors because <laughs> I was thinking of all this. Mine are, I've got some pretty good scissors that will cut this. So you could make that into a um, whatever you like. Yeah, I was thinking about joining it together and making it into a page in your journal lot. You could join that together by stitching or gluing and then putting washi tape or thing, you know, whatever you want to join it with. That'd be great, wouldn't it? Look, two brilliant page. That would make an amazing page. So different to, you know, what perhaps what other people would have seen and things like that. And also I did a little pocket as well out of out of the faux stitching. I didn't go round it of this. I didn't do the actually colouring in round the um that just came today. I thought, oh I could do that. So that's what I've done today. So you don't have to do that. And I like but I do like that, the way that's turned out. So you could put that in a journal. Let me just show you a example. I've got it on, haven't I? Because <laughs> I do switch it on and off and I'm thinking I'm just gonna move this out of the way. Right, so this is my this is my notebook. So that would stick in there. Now that that is actually a stick of flour, but it does not show up very well on there. So I don't know whether I'd do that. I'd perhaps put a solid, perhaps some more solid flour on there. Let me see if I can find an example. So I've got that. That would something like that because a sticker doesn't. I mean, a sticker. That, you like stickers because they show you the um, type underneath, don't they? But uh, it doesn't quite work in this situation. So that's why I've got these. This is a digital with. Um, I'm getting. I'm going to get it wrong. I've got to look it up because it's, it's um, something I'm doing for them. It's um, Rockwell. It's, it's, it's the other way around to what I think. It's design crafts or craft designs. Design crafts, I think it is. Rockwell design crafts. On, and it, see, that looks quite nice. And it, even though that's red, that would go with it more. But it's just an, just, just an example of something strong like that. Ooh, that would look nice, wouldn't it? Something like, obviously, you've got... Um, you know something i'll probably put a fire away now i need it something like that you know just 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 to give it a bit of an edge that sort of thing and um what else can i tell you about yeah you can don't have to use obviously don't you can do, use what background you like color them or magazine pages things like that they're just brush -over. that's just brush over i like brush effects um which is like a powdered paint you spray water on and it separates all the colors and it looks really good and I've, uh, so that's that one okay and I, was gonna, I must be missing something out that i mean to tell you i've told you about the pages told you about the pocket or you can make what you like journaling cards you can stick that on something stick something on the back and um, make it into a journaling card tags things like that it's basically a little bit of a master board um things like that on there let's have a look at that so this is butterfly paper, that's what I was thinking. Yay. Yeah, that looks... This almost looks like, if you put that there, I don't know why, but it reminds me of trees. Sort of like trees, you know, like those strips of trees. And then you've got your wood, wooded bits between. <laughs> then Anyway, I will um, get on with the next one now. Hope for... Oh, oh no, it's okay. I know what I'm thinking. I've got, I know I've got to do something else for another one of the other projects. So I'll just get on with the next one of these now, okay. That's that one done. Right, so now I'm getting some paper ready. So this is going to be for another project. This is one from Panda Paper Outpost. Obviously, we'll do it different to what Panda did. It. So we've got this, we've got a piece of paper. Now let's measure it for you. I think it's about eight inches by something. I've got paper stuck to the desk. Right, so no, seven actually, isn't it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven part by just over four. That one, and I've cut it on the with my scissors. Or you could tear it or whatever. Because I've got my scissors, I want to use them. <laughs> Right, okay, so this one, and that's another one. Let's just measure this one for you. Right, that is, that's under seven inches now. I think I might have to cut it down a bit anyway. One, two, three, four, five, six, six, nearly seven. Yeah, so this one needs to be cut down a little bit more. Because it's got to be a little bit less than that. There we go, because we're going to have a bit of fun, aren't we? Yay. So I'm cutting it down a little bit less. So it's probably about six and a half by. Yeah, you know, I can pull it, pull that, I pulled that off a lot there. Look, he made it a bit of a, a tuft there. Right, so that's four, that's, that's four now. Uh, so one, two, three, four, five, six, just over times four. And that's, that's good. That's that one then. And then we've got a third. Oh, I haven't done that one yet, have I? So I'm going to double that up so it's nice and thick. No, not nice and thick. It's just perfect. <laughs> perfect work well, while it should be. Right, 
let's have a look at this one. That's how you have. Let's have a look. That's six and a bit. So I wanted something like five and a half, I think. So let's put that right. Then let's see how big that turns out to be. That's just over five, I think, by three. Yeah, that's. About, I think that's what the other one was that went wrong. <laughs> right. So that's about right. Okay. So now we've got pieces of paper, and I'm going to try and get them round the right way. And that's that one as well. And I've got all these pieces of paper trying to join in and, and I don't want them at the moment. But I might want them another time. So they can be patient. That's it like that. So you've got those three pieces of paper like that. I'm going to ink them up now. Okay, I've got different colours. Let's have a look. Let's have three different colours. Those three will do. They're the top three that came in. Um, hopefully I've got it on yet. <laughs> right, I'm just going to put these out of the way. Okay, so let's have a look what we've got. Hopefully, yep, that's the right ray. Right ray, right ray. It's the right ray. That's the right ray. You don't have to obviously have them different colours like me, do you? Just, just, just to define each sec section. Right, what do we do now then? So we get something for the middle to make it into a little journaling spot, don't we? Right, what we got? I'm intending to use this. This is the backing paper I've used for my, so it, you know, so I don't waste it. It's fine. I mean, I will waste. It. I could just chuck it away for one, but I've decided to use it and be a good girl. So I'm going to um, make it very slightly smaller than each one of these. I think I did the big one first last time, but hey, we'll do this one. I'm going to cut this line off. I think that's that still wet. Is it just a glue? Well, I think it's hmm, slightly wet. I don't think it'll matter. Hopefully. We'll just get colour everywhere. So I'm, again, I'm cutting with my scissors. Right, that's it. So we need to be somewhere up here. It's got lines on it, you see. That's what I've used. It. I've used it specially so I can do this. Um, right. So that goes on. Oh, but that's a pussycat meow. Oh, I like that. That goes so well with this. <laughs> but hey, we're not doing. We're not. We're not. We're not actually doing that. I don't think it'll all go well with it. But never mind. Let's do the. Oh, because my husband just come in, and the cat's meowing at him. There we go. We just picked something up. Right, so that's that one lot. That one could have been inked up around the edge, couldn't we? We could do a bit of that, couldn't we, really? Let's just have a quick... Yeah, something like a watercolour crayon would look okay on that, wouldn't it, as well? If you wanted to put a little bit... That's not a watercolour crayon, though. But they could do that. It's interesting. That's actually that way around, I want it. How big do I need this? That will do. Just need to be a bit wider. Well, I think I'm going to make all three, aren't I? I think I love writing on um, things like this. Right, so that probably needs to be a bit shorter. Which one should we? Sh which end shall we shorten? Ooh, shall we put that on there like that? Yeah. See, that doesn't go with that so well, but hey. Oh, should we put, I tell you, it will do in a minute, because we can put some, uh, we can put some of that on it, can't we, a bit? And around, just around the edges. Am I doing it in the right place? There we go. How about that? That will go nicely there, look. 
matter which way you have it, round you have it, now that way or that way. Oh, that looks lovely now. Right, and then we'll do the last one. Which is going to be this one. Yeah, that's right. And, yeah, that needs to be one. Yeah, that'd be about... Oh, we've got the holes there now, haven't we? Let's see if we've got another piece. That'll do. Okay, so we've got this instead. There we go, I've got black on that, so I've mixed that with that other thing. It's got made it into a gorgeous greeny turquoisey black. <laughs> there we go. That's that's what we've done with that one. And that one looks really nice, doesn't it now? We can make it all come together nicely. There we go. So as you can see that's upside down, but when you've got it that way around, it's the right way. Okay, so I'm gonna try and do it like this now. I've got to find all my pieces. Yeah, they are. I've found them now. There we go. So I've got three different colours, although you don't need to obviously do three different, as many as you like, or not do it at all. In fact, I'm sure you'll have your own way of um, de de decorating it. Right, I've got ideas. Okay, so th this one you can put straight like this. You can put it, whoops, you could do it like this, straight at the top like that. I like this one where you'd go a bit further down. Or you could do the other one where you could twist it. And I think that would look pretty nice. Quite like that or something yeah i would not go for the i would take that off but yeah that would be fun wouldn't it if you did something like that and then you can open it so if you did get it twisted and you couldn't move it it wouldn't matter <laughs> so i'm gonna i'm gonna do it like i wanted it which is the um straight way but i thought that'd be an option i was thinking about that last night lying awake i was thinking oh no, i could do with that book <laughs> i knew i was gonna have to make the video again so i thought oh i know we could show them tomorrow when i redo it so I'm having mine straight, okay? So you wanted to get it straight anyway. You've got the uh, lines of the type there, haven't you? <clears throat> you notice my voice is getting better, yay! <laughs> that's great, isn't it? But I've still got a bit of asthma, so that's a bit annoying. I had asthma for two probably for two years. The doctor says, the doctor says, oh, you haven't clearly had asthma for two years. I thought, ooh, yeah, that's me. Right, so there we go. So what we're going to do now, we can decorate the front. I'm going to put a sticker on like I did the other one because it looks really nice on there. I'm going to find one. I've decided that I'm going to be the Scottish thistle. <laughs> Not quite like the Scottish thistle design, but because I've got Scottish in me and I didn't know, and I'm really, really excited. About 25, about quarter Scottish, can't believe it. Quarter Scottish, and I've got 20%. I know I had Irish, but not Scottish. Like uh, that, I'll have to, what I'm going to do is try and tuck that over, it cut it off or tuck it. There we go. So now I've got a nice thistle on there now. There we go. So I've got an excuse now. The only thing I haven't got is whale, Welsh in me. Right, so, there's the. That's the flip through, and then you can obviously put a little wordy thing there if you like, and I'm going to do that because that's what I do, isn't it? Right, let's find a thing. I'm going to use a bit of this, why not? It doesn't even go with it, but hey. I'm going to try and get that bit of green there. Look, <laughs> I'm obsessed with these scissors now, aren't I? Let's have a look. Oh, I see. What do you think it's going to... Let's go... Ah, uh, uh, I don't know whether to perhaps ink something round or actually colour it. All right, where's my black? Mm. Scottish. I don't know. What would you do? <laughs> um... Right, of course I'm going to put the word right, and I'm going to do it in these, not with a crayon, with a blunt crayon. And normal writing. Don't learn, do I? I should do it, I should write it and then cut it. 
Right. So there needs to be a little bit left. Good idea if you're doing if you are doing that to write it, then cut it. Because <laughs> I've got no logic. Right, and that will go there. And obviously you can put a backen on it if you want, but I've got I've I've inked it round so that should help it pop. And that's quite subtle there, isn't it? I hope you like that. Right, okay, so I'm gonna have to do another photo now because I've done all my photos. And I'm gonna have to include all these, <laughs> the new ones. Right, there we go. So that one's there, that's a little book. With your very pretty, very gorgeous right paper inside. Oh, I love it. Do you know what? I'm so happy with that. That's so beautiful. Let me get all the other ones as well because are we having this as the last one? I don't know. Right, let me just I'll do it separately. Right then. So this is the end of it now then. Okay, so what I've done is I'll show you that in the one in a minute. Let me just recap what we've done today. We've done these, which is my, I love that one. I've obviously got, the, this is the so, no-so version. I actually prefer the no-so version to the so version. <laughs> but uh, anyway, I've just made, as I promised, as I, that's what I was just doing. So I had a bit of a break, but you won't know. I made that one. That one's a little bit shorter than what I needed it. But it looks very similar to that. And that's using the inch punch circle. You don't even have to do that really. You could probably just even do that to, to a page, couldn't you? Anything like that. And obviously it's book page. Let me show you what that looks like. This is my notebook. <laughs> there you go. So that's a bit shorter than what I wanted, but that was my fault for not measuring it properly. So that looks so nice on there, doesn't it? As you can see. And then this one is... That's a full length one. That's a good one. I don't know where I've put the other one. <laughs> the one I made. No, that's not it, is it? That's the... No. Right. Okay. Well, I'll... Uh, I'll have a quick look for that then. I say it's just missing. Completely missing. Never mind. Right. So there's that one anyway. That one and this one. Which you would have seen the other one on the in the video. So that's the so version is vanished. Right, okay, so then we did, was it this one next? I think I know which order I'm going in. <laughs> and obviously we did this, and, and you can make anything out of that. And I made a pocket out of some of it, but I decided that that didn't show up, didn't it? And I was going to put something else on there instead, yeah. Something that fits, that would fit. Obviously that's a completely the wrong colour. But it would be better than quite a nice one there wouldn't it like it's got the elements of the colors so you can make a pocket like that with using something like that uh that's printed on brown paper actually slightly brown paper um roxwell design crafts i think it is <laughs> what craft designs it's design crafts right and um so you can make journaling cards, tags, things like that out of that. Just back it with something or pockets or, as I say, make some, join it together. Is it Franken paper? <laughs> join it together down there and you can make a, a double page for a journal. And then, I don't know, just do something else on the back. That'd be amazing. I think that's great. That's a, that was a genius idea. And what's the other thing I did? Obviously this. Um, that's the one I did today. Let me show you the one. Let me show you the prototype as well. This is the prototype as well. So this is very similar. Hold on. Am I, am I doing it right? Oh yeah, of course it's glued down into it. Ooh, what we're doing. <laughs> right, and I, that's that one. And then obviously the thistle one. There we go. And that's got the right on it. So I do hope you enjoyed my content today. Please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel. Please share my video and press the notification bell with the crafty fingers. And I'd love you to join my Facebook group, Hazy Crazy Arts. That'd be brilliant. Thank you so much. And also, what else can I tell you? Uh, oh, I've got printables on there. Things like I've actually got this paper on there. If you're interested in that at the moment. Spinach paper and um i know that's on there 
and that's well I've got lots and lots of different ones I've even got um got this paper as well in fact I've got all these papers on there as well if she's interested I don't know about the lined ones but they're easy to do aren't they um then one there these I don't know about the pandas I don't know if you can see the pandas actually I've got those that's the other side of the cat one um that's because I did a cat journal and I thought I'd do cat pages. <laughs> anyway, I don't like to go. <laughs> but um, please join me next time. Thank you so much and goodbye. And take care.